Other than adding scenic value to matches, the high elevation cricket stadiums have bought us some high scoring, entertaining blockbusters. Is it just a coincidence? Or is this science that can justify these events at greater heights? Other than the batter's skill, power and timing, a ball on its way beyond the boundary faces an inevitable resistance, air. The air resists the relative motion of the ball. Of all the factors that influence this resistance or drag, air density is integral, which can be simply put as the number of air molecules per unit volume occupied. The higher this density, the greater the drag. Let's look at two stadiums, one at sea level and another at a higher elevation like Wanderers in Joburg. Notice at sea level, there is a greater column of air above, pushing the air molecules below. Also, the effect of gravity is higher on these air molecules, making them pack much closer at sea level than at 1,640 metres, where they can move freely and are spread across. So, if a batter hits the same shot with the same speed at, say, 140 kilometres per hour, the ball travelling at the higher elevation shall experience lesser drag due to the lower air density and land five metres further. Quite similar to how a ball dropped in a water tank would travel easily to the bottom as compared to in a honey tank, where the medium is denser, experiencing greater drag. As a result, Batters are able to clear boundaries more often and with ease, putting on mammoth totals like just another day at the office. Can you guess the stadium with the most 400 plus international scores? Comment below and stay tuned to Wicket to Wicket.